We are going thrifting at one of our favorite local thrift stores because they have like a pop-up coat sale. There are like a thousand coats for sale. Plus, um, it's just open. So we're gonna check out what they have on this beautiful Labor Day. See you on the inside. Okay, let's just each start at a rack. Good luck. <laughs> So there's actually pretty good stuff, but it's priced so high. So this Carhartt jacket, they want $40 for it. This North Face, they want 20, which isn't horrible, I guess, compared to some of the other prices we're seeing, but it's not in the best condition. It just doesn't feel very good. I'll give you an idea though, of some more prices like this Gap jacket, for example, $35. Cat and Jack, this is Target, they want $30. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm finding a couple things that are priced decently Chrysler. Oh, see, $45. This is so cool though. It's like a, like a bomber or like a letterman's jacket kind of. I bet, I bet it is worth some money. It has a big Chrysler on the back. I might look this up, but $45, I don't know. I got some really great stuff last week while thrifting and I cannot wait to show you. It's a lot of like women's stuff, men's stuff, even some kids stuff. Really great stuff. Stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky is Park and I am a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. And what that means is that I like to go to places like thrift stores, buy, sell, trade stores like Plato's Closet, consignment stores, anywhere where they're going to sell clothing for cheap. And then I like to list those items on the reselling platforms that I mentioned and try to get as much money for them as I can. I do this part-time. I am a full-time high school choir teacher. And so if you enjoy seeing what reselling looks like from the perspective Perspective of a part-time reseller, this is the channel for you. I do a lot of thrift hauls like this, as well as what sold videos so you can see what happened to the stuff that I thrifted, like did I ever sell it, um, lots of tips and tricks videos, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure that you subscribe, but let's go ahead and get into it. I have a local reseller friend. Her name is Chelsea, and you can find her on YouTube. Um, her channel is Monarch Alley. She let me know that one of our favorite local thrift stores was doing um, like a like a coat drive, like a jacket drive, and they had like a thousand coats. So I cleared up my schedule, went with some friends. Chelsea, unfortunately, was not able to go at that time because she had her kids with her. And so I went. It was a little... Um, disappointing in that they priced their items really high and you saw some of that in the footage like really high and typically this is a thrift store that is known for pricing their stuff really reasonably so I was a little surprised by that but regardless we did still find some things and then I'll also show you stuff that I got at Play-Doh's I don't think it was later that day I think Play-Doh's was like a week after or something, but um, a bunch of stuff that I have sourced and have yet to um, list because I've been waiting to haul it for you, so let's go. There were a lot of Carhartt jackets as part of this clothing drive, and a lot of them had flaws like this. Like you can see some grease marks and stains and um, just all sorts of goodies, which apparently is how people like their Carhartt. So this they wanted $19.99 for, and I was willing to pay the $19.99. However, and let's see, this is a size um, large, and I think that this one is vintage because you can see the tag is a little bit different. I'll, I'll look it up, but I have a feeling that this one is vintage. Anyway, um, when I went to check out, they were running a 25% off of all clothing sale, but they had specified that coats were not part of that sale, which is fine. I was going to buy this at $20 without the sale. The lady rung me up and when she told me what my total was, I was like, did you you know, put the sale discount in for the clothes. And she's like, oh my gosh, I didn't. And it's something that I guess they do manually. So when she went in to manually put the discount in, she accidentally put the discount in for all the coats too. So I got an additional 25% off the coats as well. So um, this was $19.99, but imagine 25% off. I think I can probably list this around like 
50 to 60 dollars we'll see i know that there are some low comps out there but there are also some higher ones also i got a good amount of carhartt and i've kind of been picking up a lot of carhartt recently so that in and of itself kind of makes me want to start a depop uh store or account or whatever but I also don't want to because I'm already on six platforms. So I don't know. You let me know where you sell the most Carhartt. This is another Carhartt jacket. This one may or may not be vintage. Again, I need to do some research. This one is a size, I don't know. I have to do the measurements and stuff. They wanted $20 for this one as well. This one I feel like is a little bit more worn. Like I don't think that the color used to be this light, but I feel like maybe just the frequent washings or being out in the sun so much, it kind of turned into this color. Another full zip jacket, it's got the pockets. It does have some like paint and stuff on it. Um, hoping to list it for anywhere from 50 to $75. And again, I did get 25% off of that. Um, we did also, well, here's my receipt, first of all. So I spent a total of $234.91 on everything that you're about to see. So we did also, once we left the coat area, we went and looked at, you know, the rest of the thrift store for shoes and clothes and all that good stuff and found some cool things. So I have never heard of this brand. It's called Lucy and Yak. However, it appears to be a menswear brand. It is new with tags and they seem to be um, all about kind of like fair trade and um, just, you know, creating things. It says Lucy and Yaks are made by a small family business in rural India. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of cool things happening with this. They wanted $4.99 for these, but again, I got these uh, for 25% off and these are in a size 36 by 30 they appear to just kind of be like i don't know just like a relaxed fit jean um i think comes from around like 30 to 40 dollars so i thought i'll just give it a shot and see what happens kind of interesting i'm always eager to learn about new brands especially when the price point is right i'm gonna have a lot of bags to get out of the way okay next up some more carhartt jackets so another bag this is a newer jacket, I feel like. This definitely is not vintage. It's a Carhartt full T-swing black jacket with like a corduroy trim for the collar. Um, I feel like maybe there was a hood at one point because there's like these snap buttons. There's no hood on this one though. Um, it has like a fleece lining. It's pretty heavy duty. So like I said, it is black. It's got pockets. It's so heavy. Um, this one they wanted $35 for. So, you know, even without me thinking that I would get 25% off, I felt like this was worth it. I can't remember exactly what the comps were. And I didn't think I was going to make a killing on this. I think like at most I will probably like double my money on that. But I got it because I feel like Carhartt is such a popular brand right now. And the hope and idea is to get as many people to, you know, my Poshmark closet or eBay store with these kinds of listings. So even if I had to pay up a little bit, I am okay with that. I did get some shoes. My sister-in-law found these. These are just collection by Clarks. Um, Clarks are a good bread and butter brand when it comes to shoes. There is like a little bit of staining at the top of that one shoe, as you can see. They have a suede upper. These are in a size, what size are you? Ruh, ruh, oh, okay, I was gonna say. They're in a size six and a half W. Um, they do lace up, they're espadrilles, and they just wanted a dollar ninety nine for them. So when she brought them over to me and was like, What do you think? I was like, for a dollar ninety nine? Yes, please. That sounds great. So we got those. Probably list those around like $25, $30. Another Carhartt jacket. I'm telling you, so much Carhartt. Okay, this one is kind of similar to what we've been seeing. Again, with kind of like the corduroy, but no hood, if that's even why that has those snap button details. This has like a very interesting lining, like almost like a felt lining. Um, this I do think is also vintage. You can see the tag. Um, and it says crafted with pride in USA. This is a size 40. And this also has like the United Garment Workers of America thing on the back of the tag. So for all those reasons, I feel like this is vintage. It does have 
um, a bunch of pockets on the front. It does have some like watermark type things on the sleeve. As you can see, it's um, a button up closure. Some stains, a big stain right there. But again, that's kind of the appeal with Carhartt. You want Carhartt pieces to look lived in. Um, you don't really want them brand spanking new. They wanted $35 for this one as well. I'm hoping to at least double that amount with this vintage piece. So there's that. Um, I did pick up these Keens for $6. I've never seen any like this before. These are obviously um, like for kids and these are in a size three. Um, there is a flaw though that I didn't notice till I got it home, which is that on the bungee cord, this little piece somehow came out of here. So that's supposed to live inside of this black piece. They're still like in great shape other than that. Um, there's hardly even really any wear, I feel like. The treads are great. Um, I still think I can get around $20 to $25 for these and I paid $5.99 for them. So there's that. I found another pair of Chacos. I found my very first pair of Chacos when I went thrifting in the Chicagoland area before we went to Seattle. Those were basically new. Um, these are actually new. These are new with tags. They're the low down flip tongues low down. I, I don't know what any of that means. Um, they're in a men's size seven, which is not like the greatest size, but you know, it's good for like middle school, high school boys, and some men wear a size seven. I feel like my dad wears like a seven or a seven and a half. So I'm not sure how much these will go for. I'm hoping at least $30, $40. That's how much I got for some Chacos that were not even brand new with tags, but like newer. Um, I picked up these Skechers mainly because Kathy from Ginger Marvin does not stop talking about Skechers on her channel. Like they sell so many Skechers. I feel like it's one pair of Skechers a day. There is a considerable amount of dog hair on these. So I will have to take those off. And I'm noticing um, a flaw on one of the laces, but they wanted $5 for these. They are just like sneakers. You know, the treads are in great condition. Um, they are the air cooled memory foam sneakers. And these are in a women's size 11, which also I think is a pretty great size. Um, I paid $5 for them. I feel like Kathy sells her Skechers around like $20 to $30. So hopefully I can list these for like $30 to $35 and we'll see what happens. Um, this is something that my sister-in-law found. It's J. Crew Mercantile, which is, um, it was like a line that they were doing. They might still be doing it. It kind of took place of J. Crew Factory for a bit. Although I don't even know what's going on with J. Crew these days. Um, this is in a size 26. So this is a little bit newer of a pant. And one nice thing about all J. Crew, Madewell, you know, those kinds of brands is that if you look carefully underneath the care tag, they'll have like a little style tag and you probably can't see it. But this says that this is from fall of 2018 and it has a style number. So you can look up the style number to find the exact listing for this on the original website on the J Crew website. And that way you can find out what this is called. You can find out how they priced it. You can find stock photos, all that kind of stuff. So J Crew jeans, they do okay for me. These, they only wanted $2.99 for. And so I was like, yeah, let's try them out. I'll probably list them at like $25 to $30, depending on what comps say once I find that listing on J Crew Factory or J Crew Mercantile's website. All right, um, I found this pair of Dansko sandal wedges. So here they are. They have like a black leather upper. They're kind of strappy. These have a little bit of wear to them, but they're okay. They're in a size 40. With Danskos, you always want to like try bending them because they can develop something called dry rot in which case they literally just like disintegrate. Like they just kind of cease to exist. So I did do this. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. It's because when I was pressing on it, I was like moving the tape around. I was like, it's gonna happen right now on film. These are in great condition. Um, it's just this tag that they taped to the bottom. These were $7.99. I usually price my dance goes between like $35 to $50. Um, they do tend to sit for me a lot lately, but maybe if I price these around like $35 to $40, maybe they will sell somewhat quickly. So there's that. 
I did get some pretty basic pieces just because I feel like they'll be easy and quick movers. Um, by no means am I expecting to get a lot for them. This is just an L.L. Bean piece that I picked up for $2.99, knowing that it would be 25% off in a men's large. It's just a really basic like Henley in a gray color. Um, yeah, just a great basic that people can like bundle together or whatever. And I'll probably list this at like $18. I don't know. I just really like the fabric. It seems really soft. And, um, yeah, this is another basic piece. I picked it up because the brand is Orvis, which is a good brand. Like people like this brand. It's a kind of outdoorsy, you know, you're going to do stuff outside type brand. Um, it does better for men than women. I feel like it's, a, and it was $2 and 99 cents size large. It is new. Now it doesn't have like the actual tag, but it does have that sticker still again, just like a really basic pullover. It has like a really subtle stripe pattern to it. Um, I can probably price it at like 18 to $20. Another pair of shoes. These were only $3.99 and they are the brand Asics. They are the Flight Foam. I don't know if that's really what it's called. Let's see. Um, GT 2007. I don't know anything about that. I just know that they're in pretty decent condition. Um, like the treads are okay. And I only had to pay $3.99 for them. So even if I could get like $30 to $40 bucks on these, that would be amazing but I have not looked up comps on those. Um, another bag of shoes. These are New Balance. And I don't remember what comps were on these. We did look them up. They're in a size eight and a half. They're like this really interesting suede upper. Um, I feel like comps were decent though. Like I wanna say in the 40 to $50 range, they're the 928 version three. Um, they have this really interesting roll bar on the bottom. And they wanted $5.99 for these. So we took a chance on those. Hopefully that pays off. Um, I think these are hideous. <laughs> I think my friend Jiwon found these. They are keen. They're like a wannabe Converse. I, yeah, I don't know. They're special. But they only wanted $3.99 for them. So we're going to try them and see what happens. I'm hoping for at least $30.00. They are a size nine. Uh, this made me think of Joey Bada Bing and Drew from Profit Monsters because I know that Drew loves selling Skechers Shape Ups and Joey hates them, but I know that they can sell. I actually have two pairs of Skechers Shape Ups that are just like taking up space. So I decided I'd buy some more, I guess. Um, these were like a really popular shoe. I want to say in like the 2000s that people wore because they really believed that by walking around in these monstrosities, they would shape up their bodies and lose weight and all that stuff. And then I don't know that these are still being made because I don't know if it worked or not. This is from 2010 and they're in a size eight and a half. So there are those. I think those can sell around like $35 maybe. Okay. Let's bring some more bags over. Um, this is a pair of Uggs that my sister-in-law found. Um, they're black. I think they're called like the Bailey bow or something like that. And generally speaking, I feel like these can sell in that like $35 to $50 range, depending on the condition. These I picked up for $7.99 and yeah, they're, I feel like these kinds of Ugg, uh, boots are pretty bread and butter, especially given the season that we're heading into. And like the fur on the inside is in pretty good condition. Sometimes it can get really matted and gross, but those are okay. Um, I think G1 found these. These are a pair of kids' bogs. There are some stains and marks on the outside, but I think I could still get like 30-ish dollars for these. Um, bogs are great for like rain and even the winter. They wanted $5.99 for these. They have like a little paisley print on them, but I'll try to wipe it down and see if I can't get some of that staining off. Um, I was just really happy to find some good shoes because I feel like lately I've been running low on shoes. So I'm happy to be able to kind of refill my um, shoe inventory. This was a jacket that my sister-in-law found. Y'all know I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with Chico's, but I picked this up because, you know, she brought it to me and it's a size three, which is a bigger size. They only wanted $5.99 for this and it is made of, let's see, I think it's like 100% wool. 
yeah, it's 100% wool. And it's just a really nice, like, beige, kind of lightweight, full zip jacket that you could just layer over anything, really. Um, so for that reason, and it's got kind of these, like, wider sleeves, I just thought we'd give, you know, give it a shot. They weren't asking for too much, so I think we should be able to make at least 35 on that. So many bags. All right, a couple more pairs of shoes. This is a pair of Crocs which, you know, it doesn't look like they are, but it says Crocs right there. And they're just kind of like slip-on shoes. These are in a size women's seven. They're kind of like perforated at the top. You see like the holes, great like water shoes. And they only wanted $3.99 for these. I imagine I could get around $25 for these. Um, so there's those. Okay, we paid up for these and I'm still not 100% convinced that this is gonna be worth it. There were two shoes that we were kind of contemplating between. One was a pair of like Air Force, no, Air Jordans um, with like, they were like white with like gold metallic hardware, but I don't know, the hardware was kind of all messed up and then this was also in the same price range. So I was like, let's try these. We paid $40 for these, but they are these, Air Jordans by Nike, and they have, they're so heavy. Um, they're like a red upper suede, and there are some marks like in the toes, as you can see. I don't know how to clean suede. If you have any idea, please let me know. They are in a men's size 14, and they came out in 2017. These do have like a style number and all that that I can look up really easily, but it looked like maybe they were in that like $150 range and that's why we picked them up for $40. They do need a good clean, but other than the fact that they're kind of dirty, they're in really great condition. Like look at the bottom and then this area down here, it appears to be in good condition. So I don't know. We're just gonna try it and see what happens and I'm kind of excited. So that was everything from the thrift store. Now I'm gonna show you what I got at Play-Doh's and it's a lot of like the same thing and then some shoes. So let me bring it over. All right, let me start off by showing you all the pants that I got and then I'll show you the shoes and that'll be it. So this is in a bag because I used these jeans um, to demonstrate something in a List Perfectly video that I just made. I will link that video here, but this is a really beautiful pair of jeans by Silver, and I was actually kind of shocked that these were silver, but these are the Maisie Slim Crop. So you can see, like, they're distressed, and they are cropped, but they just have these really beautiful embroidered flowers on the front and on the back. I thought that was really pretty. Um, at Play-Doh's, my average cost of goods on all this stuff came out to $7.07, .07. This, however, they wanted $30 for, and I got all this stuff during their 70% off sale. So I didn't pay um, seven. I think I probably paid more like, oh, math is so hard. Let's see, 70% of 30, or 30% of $30. So I think I paid like $9 for these. That's right, that's how it works out, um, which is kind of a lot, but again, because we were going by average cost of goods, it doesn't really seem like it's that much, but hopefully like, you know, hopefully they'll sell around that 30 to $40 range. This is a pair of jeans by American Eagle. Um, basically the rest of what I'm about to show you is all plus size. So this is a size 22 regular and it has stretch to it and it's the mom jeans. So if you look um, on the inside of the band, it'll tell you the style name. So American Eagle, just kind of in this like somewhat lighter wash. But yeah, mom jeans. I typically sell American Eagle jeans between like $20 to $30. I'm hoping to be able to list these a little bit higher because they are plus size and plus size is a little bit harder to come by. So maybe let's sell them at like $35 and see what happens. This is Lane Bryant. I honestly have a hard time selling Lane Bryant, but I picked these up because they were in a size 28 and they were just this really great pair of camo joggers which I thought was really cool. And they have like a zipper detail at the ankle. I don't feel like I've really seen joggers before from Lane Bryant, so I thought I would try those out. Um, hopefully I can get these to move around that like $25 mark. Let me know how Lane Bryant does for you. I just, I have a hard time moving it quickly. This is a pair of jeans by Silver. Um, these are actually plus size. These are the Aiko ankle skinny jeans in a size 22. 
and the length is 27 um, in like a nice neutral gray color. One thing I always look for is, is there any pulling in the crotch and is there any wear like in between the legs? Um, and all of these kind of checked out. There is some slight distressing. There is a raw hem. So I thought that these were a really good pickup and hopefully these will sell between that like $35 to $40 mark. Silver actually sells pretty quickly for me, especially their Suki style jeans. That was kind of a while ago. I just kept finding that style and it just kept selling for me. Um, I haven't tried selling it recently, so don't quote me on that. I think the rest of the jeans I'm going to show you now are Torrid. So this is Torrid size 26. Sometimes just like American Eagle, it'll tell you the style name. So this is the ankle skinny. This is like a darker wash. And these are really interesting because they are distressed, but they also have these like rings on the side. And at first I was like, well, shoot, I'm like missing some because there are only four, but there's only four on the other side too. And they are like all kind of missing in the same spot so maybe it is supposed to be like that but torrid is also great because usually you can find their style name on the care tag as well although it seems like maybe this is gonna prove me wrong let's see oh you know what you can see where they kind of cut a tag here so i think the style name was there but um i'll just type in some keywords things like torrid rings like raw him i don't know and we'll see if we can't find what this exact style of pant is called and hopefully it was something that everyone and their mom wanted this is another pair of torrid jeans this has like more of an elastic waist this is in a size 20 r and these are the bombshell skinny these sell pretty uh well they're in kind of like a faded black color these i think i could list for like 25 to 35 dollars um, I don't have too much experience with Torah denim. I feel like when I find Torah jeans, they're typically, um, like really destroyed or really old styles. So I'm excited to kind of try these out. And they were averaging like 14 to $18 at Play-Doh's, um, which came out to, you know, just five, six bucks a piece, which is great because that's about how much I have to pay for them at Goodwill. So this is Torah size 26, um, are this one is their jegging so here's what that looks like there is some distressed detail um so this is the jegging style again probably list that around 25 to 35 this one is yeah so some of them don't have the style name on the inside so this is torrid again size 20 tall this one does have the item number so all i have to do is type in the item number and i can find the style name that way which is really great like it's great to have the information Ooh, but i'm noticing a flaw there's kind of like a hole in the back with some puckering around it that i don't think is supposed to be there so that does kind of bring down the value of these jeans just a little bit which is annoying but what can you do um this is another pair of jeans in a size 18 these are the skinny these are in a darker wash these are like the most lightweight pair of jeans the rest of them are kind of like heavy duty um i don't know it kind of feels like these are not in as good of a condition as the other ones but i don't know at the end of the day it's all the same thing um, actually I like these feel the most lightweight. This is skinny as well, size 18 R. So maybe it's just like these skinny jeans that don't feel so hot. Um, we all know what a skinny jean looks like. Again, probably for these, maybe just around like 25. Cause I do feel like the skinny jean is kind of on its way out. If it, as, if it hasn't left the building already. Um, this is Torrid in a size 26. This is the boyfriend jean and you can see some light distress details there's a uh, raw hem and there's a lot of kind of that like contrast like it gets lighter in the middle again 25 to 35 adelas some of these more trendy styles like the boyfriend with the distressing and the raw hem and stuff i could probably get away with pricing just a little bit higher and my last pair of torah jeans these are in a size 26. These are also the boyfriend. And these have a really cute little butterfly 
patch on the back pocket, which I thought was really sweet. Um, these they wanted $14 for as well. So a really great denim pickup, just so much Torrid. I did show a picture of all of them on my Instagram, which if you're not following me over there, I'm Becky Park on Poshmark. And people were like, oh my God, Torrid jeans sell so quickly for me, which of course made me super excited. So I did also pick up some shoes and I feel like there was at least one other thing, but I may have already photographed it in this. I don't know. I don't know where it is, but um, it's somewhere. If you're interested in anything that you see in this video, by the way, feel free to email me. My email address is always in the description below. It's just poshingplanner at gmail.com. And that way you and I can work out the cheapest price for any item um, and you can get a good deal. So the next item is again, a pair of Clarks. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it down here. It says Clarks. The only reason I picked these up is because they had them priced at $10. So I paid $3 for these. They have like a suede upper, just Oxfords. Um, there is some like scuff marks and whatnot, as you can see. But generally speaking, they're in really good condition. And I believe they're in a size 10 and a half for men. So these will probably sell right around that like $25 to $35 mark. And seeing as how I only had $3 into them, that's not bad. Um, these are interesting. They kind of remind me of like Crocs, obviously, but, um, I don't know. The brand is CEO, CEO, C-E-Y-O. I'll show it to you like this. They are new with tags, which is one of the reasons I got them. There weren't that many comps for them. Sabo Tech, Sabo Tech C1. I feel like they're made somewhere in Europe. They're, uh, Istanbul maybe? So, made in Turkey. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know very much about them. Not very many comps. I'm hoping I can get at least like $30 for these. Um, but just like comfort wear clogs, you know, great for like doctors and nurses and other people who are on their feet all the time. Good for like cooks, chefs, all that kind of stuff. Um, they wanted $14 for them. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just take a chance. These I maybe did not need to get. They also only had these priced at $10. These are um, A6. They're the Gel Cayano either 21 or Z1. The reason why I say maybe I don't, maybe I didn't need to get them is because like you can't even make out anything that's on the tag on the tongue. Um, it's just so like destroyed. Um, the soles though, or like the treads are in decent condition. I don't know. I feel like maybe I can get like $25 for these, which, you know, it's still okay because I paid $3 for them. Um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. My, my fear is it says that they're a size 11, but I don't see that anywhere. Like it doesn't actually say size 11 because again, you can't really read it on the inside of the tongue. So I'll probably just like put these up to other shoes that are a size 11. And I did pick up another pair of shoes. I think it was the Skechers that were a size 11 and just see if they seem to be the same size. Um, but that's not really the way you want to go. So yeah, I should have checked that. This is the last pair of shoes that I picked up. Um, I did pay up for these. They wanted $80 for these originally. So I paid $24. We'll see if it pays off. They are a pair of Nike Air Max shoes. The like popping or like the this part back here, they haven't like popped or anything or anything. So that's really good. Um, my husband was like, oh yeah, I remember those shoes. So they're in pretty good shape. They had some really cool sneakers and stuff like they had like the LeBron James 12 in like the Christmas series and, you know, stuff like that. But some of the shoes were like pretty destroyed. These, however, were in good condition. These are a size 10. I don't remember off the top of my head what comps were looking like, but they were at or over $100, I want to say. So we're just going to try it out and see what happens. That is everything I picked up um, the last couple times that I've gone thrifting. I'm pretty excited about everything. There are some new brands. There are some tried and true, tested, you know, bread and butter brands, a ton of Carhartt. So we're just trying all the things to see what works and what things sell for a good amount of money. And I hope you're doing some really great sourcing too. There are a few really great sourcing opportunities coming up in my area. And um, I don't know. I'm doing a pretty good job though of like getting stuff listed and photographed and all that kind of stuff. So I feel good about going out and sourcing more, um, but I just got to stay on top of it the way that I have been. So let me know how sourcing has been for you. Let me know if there's anything in this 
pile of stuff that I just showed you that you feel like is a pretty good pickup. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoy Good Thrift Haul, I do have more in a playlist that I'll link down in the description below in case you want to just binge watch a bunch of thrift hauls. But that's it. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.